First look at Android 12 stable port from the Pixel 5 GSI running on the POCO F1 and we are calling this build the White Rabbit Hacks build. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to have our first look at Android 12 stable port from the Pixel 5 GSI running on the POCO F1. And we are calling this one the White Rabbit Hacks build. And as you can see, security patch is from October 5th, 2021. The kernel we are using is Shiva's no name kernel. And before you ask me, hey Manji, how do I get this wallpaper? Well, once you have downloaded the build, all you need to do is update all your applications from the Play Store, go into wallpapers and style, change wallpaper, and you should have a new section called community lens. This is where you will find all these cool looking dope wallpapers. Now, a few things to note, material you is in the building working like a boss the weather on your widget also works without any issues press and hold on the empty space on your home screen go into home settings at a glance bam here it is these features have been enabled by google via a server side switch do note they were not working in beta 5. next up you do have option of other wallpapers as well but before that let us go into widgets going to clock you do have the new clock which does let you choose different clock faces in case you want to and you can choose between five different clock faces for your analog clock now when you go to choose the digital clock in that case you will get the option of using either a background or using a transparent clock and bam there it is that is how the transparent clock looks like and i think the clock does respond to the wallpaper as well there it is you can see the digits in the clock are now of a different color and they have changed so yes this is another easter egg in android and of course you have enabled the first easter egg of 12 now if you go into widgets you do have another widget of android s easter egg called paint chips and this one is going to give you the color palette for this specific theme and if you tap on any of these you should be able to share them using the quick share menu next up let us address the elephant in the room go into wallpapers and style so this is the ui yep you still have themed icons as beta and you can of course change your application grid as well and you have a toggle to enable dark theme also in case you want to use dark theme next up if i go into change wallpapers surprise surprise the apk is linked in the description of the video go ahead download it install it like any other apk and then you should have the bloom wallpapers of pixel devices this is the new live wallpaper set and you can choose between six different bloom wallpapers and the best part is you can adjust the blur level as well so let me try to move it to the maximum there it is this is the flower wherein you will notice the blur effect kick in there it is and let us use the blur all the way apply this guy home and lock screen both and of course there are some ui glitches do note this is a port from a gsi so do not expect perfection but as you can see aod is working and these bloom wallpapers they move around when you move your device and trust me they do look pretty cool pretty dope of course material you has kicked in the icons here have adapted to the colors let us have a look at the volume panel changed similarly quick settings panel has also changed and we can also go into settings here and have a look at the google keyboard bam google keyboard has also adapted to material you next up if i open my application drawer bam here it is this is your app drawer let us tap on search and search for munchy so bam there it is my contact showed up which means your system wide search is working without any issues of course if you go into preferences you can configure as to what all options you want to see in the system wide search next up let us have a look at our recents so bam here it is this is how the recents are going to look like no jitters no lags everything is fine select 
working like a boss without any issues of course with android 12 you should be able to share your links and pictures from your recents itself so here it is i can now share this link and similarly if i tap on this i can share the picture as well screenshot bam here it is working without any issues now of course android 12 does come with the feature of expanded or extended screenshot take a screenshot capture more and now i have another ui and with these nubs i can extend it and of course you do have the magnification effect working without any issues you can also move it sideways in case you want to and once you are done tap on save and you should be good to go screenshot saved without any issues so this is how the settings page looks like and let us jump over to the different customizations which are available so first of all we have apps here and you can of course choose your default apps pixel launcher is baked into the rom out of the box next up let us move over to notifications and of course you do have your per app notification settings along with the option of notification history once you enable that priority conversations are there along with bubbles do note whatsapp does not support bubbles till date then you can configure your notifications on the lock screen as well and you have toggles for all the different options which you see on your screen right now surprise surprise if you go into do not disturb here and go into schedules you will see a schedule for gaming go into settings you can enable your game dashboard now how do you access the game dashboard the trick is still the same open any game and once you've opened the game go back to your recents go back to some other application and then come back to the game you should have this arrow tap on this you have the controller tap on this and bam here it is now we are in gaming mode and you can of course stream your gameplay in case you want to you have options to enable the fps the screen recorder the screenshot and all the other options which can be seen in this pill and this of course can be moved around and it does snap to the corner as well so yep gaming mode is there working without any issues on this specific build next up let us head over to battery so of course you do have your battery usage along with the extreme battery saver option and you also have the normal battery saver and a toggle to turn off when the phone is charged to 90 percent of course all these toggles the color scheme has adapted to material you and a toggle for battery percentage is present along with adapt active battery next up we have sound and vibration so again you have sliders for all the different options which you see on your screen right now then you also have adaptive sound now playing is broken do not enable this otherwise you are going to get lags and jitters in your media playback then you have shortcut to prevent ringing by pressing power and volume up together along with toggles for all the different options like dial pad tones touch sounds and more moving over to display you do have adaptive brightness working without any issues next up you also have lock screen so here in you can enable your always on display and as i mentioned earlier it works without any issues the animations are pretty smooth as well double tap to wake and lift to check are unfortunately broken on this build next up you have screen timeout along with a toggle for screen attention working without any issues dark theme can be enabled and you can schedule it as well based on a time or based on sunset to sunrise sunset to sunrise of course is going to access your location then you can change the font size display size night light is there again same configuration as dark mode colors you can switch between natural boosted and adaptive then you have auto rotate screen which right now is turned on and a toggle for face detection as well and then you have toggle for touch sensitivity the screen saver and the vr options wallpapers and style we have covered all the options but again the animation effect when you go into wallpapers and style is different from all the other options and i am still wondering why google did not give all the other options the same cool looking animation effect next up we have security so unfortunately no face unlock but you do have fingerprint unlock working without any issues moving over to privacy you do have the toggles for camera access and microphone access along with a toggle to show clipboard access so how does this 
access toggles work let us say i have an application which wants access to the camera or microphone let us use open camera as an example and we say give it the permissions and now go into video mode so when i try to record a video i should get a notification that something is accessing the camera there it is you can see camera and microphone icon in the green which means something is accessing my camera right now and of course you do have quick setting toggles for both of those options in case you want to enable them so that is about privacy now do note you also have a privacy dashboard in case you want to see what access the camera the microphone in the last few hours and again microphone you will notice open camera has accessed and then google app has accessed the microphone next up let us head over to system so here in you do have gestures double tap on the back is broken same applies for swipe fingerprint for notifications you can of course quickly press the power button to access the camera system navigation you have two options three button or full screen gestures and of course you can configure the sensitivity for the left edge and the right edge then you also have one handed mode and once you enable this it works without any issues you have to swipe down on this pill which you see next up you can also set up your one handed mode using a shortcut which could be your volume keys by pressing and holding both volume keys together or if you want an accessibility button you can do that as well and this here is the button which i am talking about lift to check of course is broken and you can also configure your power button for assistant in case you want to do that now with respect to safety net let us go ahead and open the magisk app so here it is device is not rooted out of the box only install the magisk app to check for safety net let us go ahead and check for safety net and as you can see on your screen right now safety net is passing next thing let us go ahead and head over to the google play store and here in let us go into settings and check if the device is certified or not so there it is play protect certification device is certified which means you should be able to use your banking apps without any issues with respect to youtube media playback everything works absolutely fine live caption works picture in picture works of course for picture in picture to work either you need to have youtube premium or you need to be in a specific country in case you do not want to pay for youtube premium with respect to google photos you either get storage saver unlimited and original quality is going to count against your device storage let us go ahead and also try to edit a picture of my favorite football star to see if we have the feature of portrait light or not and here it is wait for this loading bar to finish everything of course has adapted to material you go into tools portrait light bam here it is portrait light in the building working without any issues super important thing to note over here is that portrait light only works on human objects it's not going to work on my chicken friend over here now with respect to the assistant lady she is there she works absolutely fine and guess what once you enable advanced assistant features you should have continued conversations working like a boss on this specific build and before i forget we also have something called poco extras in this build now when you install the rom for the first time it might not work give it some time it is going to eventually work and with this you can change your vibration strength you also have vibration pattern options which is something which is similar to one plus vibration patterns and then you also have something called kcal now super important thing to note over here is that once you enable kcal make any changes you do have to turn the screen on and off for the changes to work and another super important thing to note over here is that kcal is not going to work if you have always on display enabled so that is a downside of kcal right now and then of course you do have your profiles as well more details about this can be found in the pinned comment on the video next up with respect to the app opening animations here are the app opening animations on your screen right now as you can see there are no jitters and no lags in the app opening animations then 
here are the recents again no jitters no lags everything is pretty smooth google feed let us check that out as well to see if you have any lags or any jitters in the google feed so once the content has loaded then there is no lag or no jitter in the google feed either transition from google feed to your home screen is also pretty smooth let us give it one more try there it is also try switching between a few applications there it is you can see everything is pretty smooth no jitters no lags in that respect either and now coming to the million dollar question is this a daily driver well i have shown you the features i have shown you how the build performs go ahead give it a try in my humble opinion i don't see any reason why you should not be able to use this as a daily driver but then again everybody has different opinions so you be the best judge as to whether you want to use this build as a daily driver or not and there it is peeps that was our first look at android 12 stable build ported from the google pixel 5 gsi running on the poco f1 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you